Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. The landing of the Curiosity rover on Mars was an astounding feat by NASA. I wanted to do a tutorial in honor of that event. This document is 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D. If it's inverted, press X, then press Alt or Option plus Delete. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Go back to Filter once more and choose Filter Gallery. The Filter Gallery window will open. Open your sketch folder and choose Base Relief. We'll make the Detail 12, the Smoothness 1, and the Light from the bottom left. We'll make a copy of the background by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Zoom out of your document by pressing Z to call up your Zoom tool and press Alt or Option as you click down. Go to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Go to a bottom corner and drag out to about 300 percent. Then press Enter or Return. To fit it again on our screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. We'll merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command plus E. We'll use this as our Martian surface and to displace the shadows of Curiosity. Go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. We'll click New and type in Displacement. Close your Displacement document and click Yes to save it. Save it to your desktop as a PSD file and click Save. Go to Filter, Blur and Lens Blur. The Lens Blur window will open. The shape is octagon, the radius is 4, blade curvature 0 and rotation 0. In specular highlights we'll make the brightness 0, the threshold 255, the noise is 12, the distribution Gaussian and monochromatic. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and go to the top left corner and drag out a selection to the lower right corner. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to the top middle of the selection and drag down a bit and click on the check mark or press Enter or Return. Go to Select, Modify and Feather. We'll feather it by 100 pixels. We need to invert the selection. To do this, press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. Next, call up your Levels window. Press Ctrl or Command plus L. We'll make the input midtones 0.60 and the output highlights 100. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. To save time, I already cut Curiosity from its background and provided the link to it in the video's description so you can download it directly. Make a new layer and go to Curiosity and press Ctrl or Command to make it into a selection. We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Delete the selection, and hide the original image by clicking off its eyeball. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by two pixels. To get this silhouette into our Martian document, click down anywhere on the image, drag it up onto the Mars Curiosity tab, and with your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. I'd like to distort the silhouette so it looks like the rover is casting an oblong shadow on the surface. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool and go to the upper left corner. Press and hold Ctrl or Command as you drag the corner in the upper left direction. When you've distorted it enough, release and press Enter or Return. Call up your Transform tool and drag it down and to the right. Let's scale it up. Go to a corner, press Shift and drag out. I scaled it about 140 percent. Click inside the Transform, move it down and press Enter or Return. We're going to make the shadow follow the contour of the surface by using the Displacement Filter. Go to Filter, Distort and Displace. We'll make the horizontal and vertical scale 10 Stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels. Click OK. 
Click on the displacement file that we saved earlier and open it. Notice it immediately distorted Curiosity Shadow to conform with the shadows and highlights of the Martian surface. Change the blend mode to hard light and the opacity 65%. The last step is to give our image a color similar to NASA's photos of Mars. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose color balance. With the midtone selected and luminosity checked, make the cyan red 65 and the yellow blue minus 36. Choose shadows and make the cyan red 19 and the yellow blue minus 39. Congratulations NASA. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.